So here is the Packet Flux Site Monitor Base Station. And uh, basically it's a pure SNMP monitoring device. There's no web interface or anything like that. Uh, but it's got two analog inputs and then it's got one digital input and it's got a relay uh, output you can use to change the state. And uh, of course it's got a ethernet right here. It's also got a thermometer inside of it which is kind of neat. So what we did here is I've got a 5 volt power supply and that goes down to a little transformer and plugs into a non uh, backed up outlet. So I can tell if I use utility power just by this going from 5 volts to 0 volts. I've got two more here that go to my batteries uh, which float around 27 volts and they there it's a 24 volt plant so I just monitor that for any dips. And then down here I've got another cable that goes to my generator. Uh, and that's just a contact that changes state if there's a problem with the generator, cranking or alarms or anything like that. So here's the cable going to our generator. Um, and that just, right up here you can see it goes to the gen set. And then of course I've got a uh, 5 amp fuse in here. This is going straight to our 24 volt bus. Um, so I can monitor it, and that also powers the device. And then down here, this little black cable, this little black cable here goes down to a little transformer, and this outlet is not backed up. So if I have a power failure, it'll show up uh, on our monitoring system. So here we are looking at the dude, and I've got my power main unit here. So now here we've got it up in the dude and you can see the battery voltage is 27.2 which is about where the batteries float and then you can see the temperature uh, which it actually has a temperature sensor inside of it is uh, 73.9 roughly 74 degrees. So if we pop this thing open see, down here we're monitoring the battery voltage, generator alarm, uh, high temperature which that's more applicable if you're out in the field, uh, the utility power and then of course it te checks it for pings because if you can't ping it Obviously, it's not going to be able to read anything else. Um, then we have alarms associated with this. If the utility power goes out, um, it pages me. It'll flash. It'll make a little ooga sound. And then uh, if the generator alarm, I don't have anything assigned here yet, but uh, obviously that's for the future. And then if the batteries dip below a certain voltage, we've got it set to where if it gets below 23 volts, um, it'll go ahead and throw an alarm state there so we know the batteries aren't. So here you go, for 100 bucks you can have another uh, way of monitoring things back at your data center and uh, it's another great packet flux product and we're glad to have it.